We are Kentucky and a proud this morning, introducing you to a classically trained storyteller who decided to tell his own story in a big way. Zach Miners, president of uh, and creative director of Chronicle Cinema here in downtown, produced a documentary film about what's known as conversion therapy, and it's already debuted at a major film festival and is starting to change lives. You'll never be successful, you'll never find love, you'll never find happiness. There's something special about watching a feature film with the film's director in the theater he owns. And they will take extraordinary measures. It's a never ending industry. With the people who helped make it all happen. I'm really lucky because I've been able to kind of reclaim my story and reclaim my trauma in a way and work through it and a lot of people don't have that opportunity. They've been told that change is possible with the gravitas of mental health. The movie is a feature film documentary called Conversion. It follows five survivors of conversion therapy as they shed light on the often secretive practice. Zach Miners isn't just the director. So I started conversion therapy when I was 14 years old here in Louisville. He is one of the five. What was the trauma? I mean, I think Conversion therapy is any attempt to change one's sexual or gender orientation or identity um, through psychological or spiritual intervention. And so that can look a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. For me, it was talk therapy and um, basically teaching self shame and uh, even in some instances like, you know, hurting yourself or inflicting pain on yourself. As I got older, I realized Hey, this wasn't working. It was not sustainable. I was secretly hating myself. Today, Zach is among the nearly 700,000 survivors of conversion therapy. The film just debuted at the Portland Film Festival in Oregon and will soon be seen in other major film festivals across the country. And I think because it was a survivor led film, the conversations that we were having were deeper and were um, coming from a more sympathetic place because we were talking to each other. You know, it wasn't like they were being interviewed by some outside producer who had no concept of what they had been through. It should be noted, according to the Williams Institute, more than 40% of survivors have attempted or seriously considered suicide in the past year. That number rises to nearly 60% for trans and non-binary survivors. I hope when people see the film, or maybe when they hear my story or any of the other stories in the film, that maybe they're able to help someone else or even share their own story and feel empowered to be able to do that because I really think that's how positive change is going to happen. Zach's film premieres for an East Coast audience on November 17th in New York City. You can see all of our Kentucky and Proud stories at whas11.com.